Sometimes the stroke width calculations and the letter height calculations can be a little challenging, so I wanted to throw together this quick video just to run through one extra scenario for you to hopefully give you a little bit better of an idea how to run through those calculations. Uh, they look kind of complicated, but I think we can make them a little bit simple here. We're going to make two calculations. The first is stroke width. The stroke width is simply that, the width of the stroke. That's the thickness of the line that makes the letter. Stroke width. It's not the width of the letter. That's W. Stroke width, the width of the actual stroke that makes the lines in the letter. And then after that, after we talk about stroke width, we're going to go into the uh, letter height. Very quickly then, we're going to calculate the letter height. That's more self-explanatory. The height of the letter. That's usually expressed as a ratio of the uh, stroke width. So it's important to come up with a stroke width calculation first, and then we can derive the letter height from that based on the ratio. The recommended ratio for a uh, black letter or dark letter on a light background, black on white, black letter on white, is 1 to 6 uh, to 1 to 8. The uh, ratio, recommended ratio for white text on a black background, which is what we actually have here, this is a lighter letter on a darker background, is 1 to 8 to 1 to 10, a little bit higher ratio there. Here's the frequency to, to uh, determine the stroke width. WS, so the stroke width, read it backwards there, the stroke width is uh, 1.45, that's a constant, times 10 to the negative 5, we're going to simplify that real quick. Uh, S is the denominator of the Snell and Acuity, and D is the distance, the reading distance that you want to go, uh, that you want the, the reader to be able to read it from. So our illustration here, we want a sign that can be visible at 70 feet by someone with 2050 vision. The way that we're going to come up with that, we're going to do our stroke width uh, calculation. So here we go. Stroke width is 1.45 times 10 to the negative 5 times the denominator of the Snell and Acuity. This is the Snell and Acuity, 2050 vision, so the denominator of the Snell and Acuity is 50 in this case. Times D, D is the distance that you want the sign to be able to be read, visible at 70 feet, so there's 70. Okay, we got 1.45, that's our constant, times 50, which is the denominator of the Snell and Acuity, times 70, the distance we want it to be read at. Okay, so there's our stroke width. Um, stroke width formula. We'll get to the 10 to the negative 5 in just a moment. So right now the stroke width you take 1.45 times 50 times 70 and you come up with 5,075. For 10 to the negative 5 you simply move the decimal point five places to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the stroke width then is 0 0.05075 and here's the trick, feet. We need to transfer that to inches. How do you do that? You multiply it times 12. So 0 0.05075 times 12 gives us a stroke width of 0 0.609 inches, just over half an inch. So now we'll move into the letter height. We had our stroke width of uh, 0.609 inches. And remember that the letter height is a ratio of the stroke width. And the ratio, in our case, we're going to use 1.6, or 1 to 6, sorry, 1 to 6 height uh, ratio. And that simply converts, 1 to 6 is a, is a fraction of 1 sixth, so divide the 6 by 1, you get 0.167. So our letter height equals our stroke width. 0.609 divided by the ratio, which is 0.167, equals a letter height of, of 3.65 inches. So it's, when it's all said and done, we have a stroke width of 0 0.609, and we have a letter height of 3.65. Those are in inches. 3.65 inches, 6.09 inches is the stroke width. The letter height as a ratio of the stroke width, 1 to 6, is 3.65. Hopefully this will help get through those, some of those calculations, especially the ones in quiz number 12.